Hey everyone, what up? So, I know it's been somewhat of a while since I've been on my YouTube. Um, that's because I've been really busy and right now I'm actually separating my laundry. So, I guess I've been doing pretty good so far. Um, I don't know, this is, I guess, just a random video, just me doing whatever, I guess. God, my guys, you guys, my hair has gotten so long. Uh, yeah. So, I've been doing pretty good. Um, just basically. Yeah, oh, by the way, if you guys see, like, two beds right here. This one right here is my bed. That little air mattress down there, and clearly my cousin's bed. We share a room right now because there is no other room for me to be in. So, yeah. So, like I said, I've been doing pretty good. Uh, getting my shit together. Getting. Trying to get everything prepared so I can get back on my medications, which is definitely a big plus. <laughs> Um, how I like it here in Oregon, because I've been asked that a lot. I love it here, you guys. It's so amazing. Oh, and Thursday, I'm definitely going to be doing a major video. Thursday, I believe, or Friday, I can't remember. But, yeah, girl, who was born and raised in Montana and Wyoming, is going to the beach for the very first time. Okay. <laughs> um, even though I've never been to the beach before... I've never seen it in person, only on videos, movies, TV, photos. Yeah, so that's going to be really fun, even though I have a tremendous fear of open water. I don't know, it's weird. Um, I don't know. But yeah. I don't know, that's just me. Like, I guess it's because my mom, she basically got me terrified of open water and that was because my mom made me watch Jaws when I was three or four years old and it's her fault I got into horror movies in the first place because you know you're making a little girl watch horror movies and all that and so she got me into that. She got, got my fear of spiders to kick in because she made me watch Arachnophobia when I was a little girl. She is the reason why I have color phobia, which is a fear of clowns, because she made me watch the very original It. I got Arachnophobia, which is a fear of spiders because of her. I have a fear of open water because of sharks and anything that's way bigger than me that lives very far underground like in the water okay that's her fault <laughs> so I have a lot of fears and a lot of phobias when it comes to open water um yeah um I've been doing okay with my aunt on the other hand I guess um really really hard not to to strangle her um oh and if you are wondering what i'm doing i'm literally separating my laundry and these these little tubs right here it's my laundry basket so yeah and i can see this one where i kind of fell apart again i hate these damn things it's weird i've never seen a laundry basket like these but these literally are laundry baskets, like they're laundry hampers. Um, mental health wise, I'm trying to get into mental health again. Um, trying to get back on my medications. I learned a lot about my mental health issues and found out I have a lot of issues I didn't even think I had. Like my problem was authority. <laughs> Yeah, that's literally a mental illness that I have. Um, it's a type of condition, I can't really remember what it's called. 
but I literally do have a case where I cannot handle authority and being told what to do. So I just thought that was just me. Found out it was actually a mental health issue I have. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. Um, yeah, because of my meth addiction, apparently I cannot be on any kind of stimulants, which I was on when I was six years old. And that is highly illegal because that's basically a form of meth, but it's more legalized in medications, I guess. And that's basically what meth is. It's basically a stimulant. Um, so yeah, and that's basically what makes me flip out. <laughs> so that is really awesome to know. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of looking forward to, to all this. Um, mental health is definitely going to be making sure I can get my own place. Um, and that's really awesome. Like, I don't know, I just need all this help I can get and that I never got with my ex when I lived with him. Um, back then I was terrified to even live by myself and even the thought of it just made me go into this crippling depression and this very horrendous fear and made me very suicidal. Um, even being homeless made me fucking suicidal and when my cousin was talking to the caseworker about trying to get me on mental health she was going into detail and the story of how i almost killed myself and how i was in a spiraling depression throughout me being homeless and i literally just almost cried right there because it's like hearing it from someone else it's like a realization of how bad i really was um you know, I literally did not take care of myself while being homeless, let alone being stuck with my ex for six years. Um, you know, I go back and watch my videos and I'm like, I was a mess back then. I did not take care of myself. Yeah, I did not. I didn't care. Like, I didn't care about my looks. Um, you know, people pointed out my hair is all messy. I look like shit. You know, and I, my makeup was all just a wreck. And that's another thing. Ever since I came here, I hardly wear makeup now. I don't know. I think I just did it because I was trying to cover up the fact that I thought I looked ugly. So, and, <laughs> um, I don't know. I just did not like how I looked at all back then. You know, I mean, being told that you look ugly and you're fat and you're a whore and being called all that shit, it's like, you try to cover that shit up by basically trying to look different and I don't know, I guess I was just trying to do that. I didn't dress appropriately. I mean, I don't know if I can show you guys, but this is basically my outfit, cute little organ shirt. Some skinny jeans. Yeah. And I'm recording all this on my awesome iPhone SE 2020. Oh shit. Accidentally turned on my cousin's TV somehow. Eh. How the fuck? Whoa my god, her TV is like touchable. No, like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of TV this is, but I literally just touched that. And there's no buttons, but it's like touchable you know what i mean it's crazy yeah my cousins are definitely high tech <laughs> i feel so silly because the second i came here she told me her house is basically all lexified like she has smart lights smart tv um smart door that open like law unlocks and locks and I'm just looking around because this is all new to me and it kind of reminds me of those t or those movies where you basically your house talks to you and that's exactly what I asked her I was like does your house talk to you too and <laughs> she just stops what she's doing and just looks at me and she's like possibly it could be and I'm like what <laughs> um no it's just this is and I even said it's so futuristic and so like high tech for me and I'm not used to that <laughs> um but yeah um I have been dieting and I have been trying to work on my weight sadly because of all the depression I went through 
and being homeless I uh, sadly went up to 319 which is the highest I have ever been in my life and now I'm actually down to 308 so that's pretty fucking good for me um it's not much but to me just even losing one pound is like incredible for me I don't know that's just how I am now but I literally don't wear any makeup anymore, even though my face has been breaking out. Um, and that is because of my dieting. I've been fasting and also eating less. And if I don't fast, I eat maybe like once, maybe twice a day, depending on how I feel. But it's usually nothing big. I don't eat processed foods anymore because apparently I have a food, food allergy to processed food. Like anything that's fake. I cannot eat <laughs> so I've actually been eating actual real food and eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and I've actually been feeling amazing um yeah so that's it for this video make sure to rate subscribe and comment and I plan to talk to you guys on Thursday or Friday when I'm heading to the beach hopefully I do not strangle my aunt because me and her really do not see eye to eye with each other um, I don't know I just there's a lot I have to say about my aunt but I'm not going to quite yet yeah so yeah make sure to write subscribe and comment bye